What's up, Faith Family? Jarvis Gotten of Voyager SYT here, and welcome back to another Diecast review. Today, we're taking a look at the Hot Wheels Ain't Fair from the 2021 Hot Wheels Metro uh, line of cars. Now, see, the, the Hot Wheels Metro cars have always sort of confused me because Hot Wheels are supposed to be fast, like, like racing cars. So it's difficult to perceive them in a city setting. And I mean, although you have some like uh, Hot Wheels Metro cars that are obviously uh, in keeping with the classic Hot Wheels, uh, fast moving, um, sort of the design language and aesthetic that they're going for, I, I really can't see it with this. Um, this is a, a very standard looking bus. And I mean, this isn't like a bad vehicle in and of itself. This is pretty well made. It has a decent, realistic design, but I'm not entirely sure that it's fitting with the Hot Wheels brand. I mean, really, the most Hot Wheels thing about this is is the logo and, and, and brand abbreviation that they have on this thing. So it's like, this doesn't feel like a Hot Wheels car, but if you like separate it uh, from its parent brand, then it's just, it's a pretty decent standard bus, decent amount of detail. Um, you have like the engine workings going on back here, which I guess you could sort of say is a, is a trademark of Hot Wheels, even though... I, th I think it'd be more high was if there was an engine board instead of just this, you know, half-assed exposed engine thing back here. I mean, although it is, it is done pretty nice. The Greeblings pretty good on this. It again, it doesn't feel very Hot Wheels. And you also have like a bike rack up here. Which, why would people be riding bikes in the Hot Wheels world? <laughs> you know what? We're not here to question the internal consistency of the Hot Wheels universe. We're just here to judge this bus and. Honestly, this is a pretty easy bus to judge. It's pretty good. Some excellent detail all around. Just doesn't really feels like a Hot Wheels car. So in terms of recommendations, um, this would be a soft recommend for me. I mean, if you're into more uh, unique, unlicensed Hot Wheels castings, then this really uh, <laughs> isn't the car for you. Um, you're going to find something much more interesting, you know, even within the Hot Wheels Metro line of cars, you don't have to look too far. So, I mean, it's not the most interesting thing in the world, but if you appreciate variety and like car types in your collection, then I think you will find some enjoyment from the Hot Wheels Ain't Fair. But yeah, this is a recommend. Um, I'm not sure if they still produce it to this day. This is a 2021 permutation. And although the colors on it are really nice and you have this cool looking a retro stripe thing going on. I'm not entirely sure if it's worth seeking out this particular model. I'd say just look around and if it's cheap enough, like below $5, actually, no, no, no. If it's below $3, then pick it up. Cause I mean, it's not a bad cast by any stretch of the imagination, but there's just really no unique selling point, you know, to really draw your attention to it. But either way, I think that'll wrap up my review of the Hot Wheels Ain't Fair from the 2021 Hot Wheels Metro line of cars. I've been your host, Jarvis Godden. Thank you all for watching. Stay tuned for more diecast content. And as always, giggity, 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 goo. Stick around.